Hi guys, so um, my daughter took a nap and I figured I don't really have anything for this weekend uh, as far as videos, so um, this is more kind of a busted out thing, but not really, because I had bought this Vicky button set a while back from HSN. They still have it right now and they have it on super clearance. I think even when I got it, I got it for a pretty good price plus a coupon, but I think they still have it and it's, you know, super cheap. So kind of interesting it does it's a kit and it came with some information about these different things but um you know it has a water brush it has you know the art crayons and I think I've used them before seldomly <laughs> very seldomly but on the back here she has some ideas of how you might want to use your art crayon um you know the kissing effect which will we'll, we'll try some of these different things out so obviously there's lots of fun things we can do with this stuff I'm not saying this is how to do it I'm just showing you some stuff okay so uh, just to kind of play with these things so I might not get to everything but most of it so this set again from HSN comes with all these different little things it has a stamping block which is just a little basic like almost like a dollar section one it's very very thin compared to like a normal block where you can actually hold it right um, but you know something to try out I, I think it's nice that she included that we have some tags we have the art crayons which I've bought at Tuesday morning before I think that's when I tried them out last time we do have some of her water pens which I think I have one already sitting around here that has water in it yeah this one so um, this is a larger brush and this one's more of a fine tip so I might use this one I might just use the one that I already have open because they work really well it's not really a review it's just kind of try these things out it does come with a palette knife which was nice and then that's kind of for your creative effects uh, iridescent glaze rose gold glaze and a gold glaze um, oh spray bottle which I already have one here with water I might try this one just to see because this one's very fine this is from spectrum noir uh, crafting companion it's super fine so sometimes it doesn't move the, the material like you would want it to came with some stencils um, cute little stamp sets and I think these are base card bases so I think what we'll do is let's try one of these just to kind of mess around we'll see what happens and then maybe I'll I, I don't know we'll see <laughs> maybe we can use one of these tags on the card itself somehow um, okay so let me get some water I'll open these up and get this going I'm just gonna take the water from this real quick <laughs> and pour it into this one so not too much obviously <laughs> how funny the thing was almost full and it barely goes to the bottom of this little guy and let me get some more water and like I said I'll probably use the wash brush that I already have which is this one it's not really a wash brush but look at that, how it's been letting water condense I've never seen that have you guys seen that that actually steams up in there Hmm, interesting but um, but again this one's more of a fine tip one and it'll help you paint so that's nice maybe we'll end up using that one too let me grab some more water that we okay, do need that so I'm curious to try these out and I'm not really sure these are not water uh, color paper it's just regular paper so I was gonna spray it but then I thought eh, maybe I shouldn't do that oh it already broke too but I'm gonna take this pretty pink in my hand so not waste anything and I'm gonna try use this on here see what happens and we will use the little acrylic block it came with even though I have tons of acrylic blocks how much plastic this <laughs> everything's wrapped all right so I'm gonna take this and I'm just using this because um it broke off but I'm gonna rub that on here now what I want to show you is if we just did this dry I don't know that it'll do much of anything all right I'm kind of really pressing it down that's not bad cute okay I'm gonna do it again oh let me do it again with a different color this time and then we're gonna wet this one just so you kind of have an idea and then you can also obviously mix the colors like this might have some red and pink and orange to it So that kind of got wet there. Hmm. Maybe there. That's prettier. Hopefully you can kind of see how much more bright and vivid it is. So you can do it wet, you can do that dry. Let me wet it one more time and see if we can get a little more. I just kind of wanted to. Oopsie. 
Okay, well, there it goes. <laughs> Since I dropped it, and we're just going to use it that way where it fell. Pretty, pretty. Okay, I do like that a lot. I'm going to clean this off. Actually, I can keep wetting it. Look how much. And I literally just rubbed it on there. So that has plenty to work with. And I'm going to use this green one. Or use the green. Oh, just rub that on there. And I will also, I'll go ahead and spray it here in my hand. Pretty. Do a little more. Oh, now it's starting to move on me. <laughs> it is an acrylic stamp, so it's not like the highest quality stamp in the world. Um, Try to see where else I could put this. Just yeah, maybe a little more spray. That's pretty. I mean, and then maybe if you're gonna put something else on top of that, really nice. You can also spray it while it's on here. I don't think it'll move though, because um, that's pretty much why you do the kiss technique the way you do it, because let's say if I rub this crayon right into a piece of paper and then add water, it's not really gonna move as much. So what she wants you to do is mix it first. Like, let's go ahead and put this away. And let's say I have, see how it just kind of goes on there? They're kind of waxy, kind of thick. Now, if I had done that right on the paper, it would just scrub in there and it wouldn't do much. But what you do is you kind of get this wet. I'm going to get a little more water if I can. Maybe even use these guys. Because I want to start moving it. See, now it's moving. Instead of just being kind of a harsh line there. And I'm going to clean this off. <laughs> and then you can come in with something... I normally don't go right on a card like this, but since it's a white card, might as well. I guess we're just going to work on it. Put that to the side. You would just come in and pick up some of that color. Right? And I know right now it doesn't look like anything. When it dries, it'll look way cooler. Okay? <laughs> so we're just going to kind of pick up some color here and there. Maybe I'm going to add some of the green. not too much green because then it's going to become like a kind of a brown color. This thing is like melting in my hand. Oopsie. No, what am I doing? That's something. This. So do you guys have any of these things? Or like have you seen them at Tuesday morning and thought, oh, maybe I should try that, but I haven't really tried them. And with the kiss technique, just so you know, she usually uses like a piece of plastic, like the carrier that this came on or something. You can do it on here because then it's more flexible and you can put that on your paper however you like. Right now I'm bringing the paper to the thing. And you have stuff like this. I'm going to let this dry because like I said you don't want too much because it's going to become like brown and I can see it's already turning brown in some areas. Um, I'm going to let this dry and then we'll do maybe some of the stenciling. While it's drying a little bit I'm going to try to use a little bit of what's on here and see if it has anything I can kind of mess with. Hopefully it doesn't come off of there. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Just kind of like a little little softness, a little ghosting of what's on here. Maybe another little. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, it's not super dry yet, but we're just going to move on because I would like to move on. So I'm going to use some of these stencils. And, oh, I like this one. Oh, this is tough. Oh, we're just going to go with the regular dots. And what I like to do with them is kind of use it in a way that um, isn't super uniform, okay? So just to make it look a little nicer, a little more artsy. I wish there was some sparkle in this, to be honest. So we'll hopefully we'll get some sparkle with this stuff. I think we will. Um, I'm going to use the gold one. And you can even take that pearlescent one and mix in some of the color from the shavings from the crayons and it'll look really nice um, to color it that way. But let's see what we got. Okay. 
course we have to cut this open. I don't want to use my nails right now. There we go. And knowing me, I'll put this back up here, but maybe that's gonna make a mess. <laughs> I always like to keep the little extra seal because I feel like it helps out. You can even get some of the stuff that's on there, but okay. Give that a mix. This stuff looks, oh, it feels so pretty. It's like butter. So this is what I like to do. Not take too much, but you can take the extra and put it back in. Um, just kind of use this in a way that's, like I said, more organic. Like I'll put this on here and I'm going to spread this on here. And I'm not trying to make sure that every hole is filled in, but just kind of like that. And I tried to pick it straight up. It was a little bit messy. Love it. Hold on. Let me clean this up. Oh, you can see that. Really cute. Um, and then you can continue, you know, putting some here and there. I don't know if I want any, maybe on this top corner. Got a little messy on the back, but that's okay. And you can see even some came out this side right here. I'm okay with that. We're going to cover it a little bit because I'm going to try to <laughs> try to put this together. Whatever else you have extra on here, I shouldn't have done that yet. You can definitely just scrape it off and get it back into your um, your pot. Okay, so we don't have to waste anything. But I'm going to let this dry for sure. I'll be right back. Okay, well, this is drying. It's going to take a while to dry. I'm just putting that to the side. Um, there's not much blue in there, but there's... Um, I figured to put this in our on our card, I want to make a little holder for it. And I thought this was pretty. So this came from the Vicky Button paper that I picked up also at HSN, super cheap. I, I don't know, I think it's called Wildflowers. Um, at least that's what I put in the last one. I don't know, it doesn't say. But I also have all these other fun things that you know I could use, but we'll see if we end up using any of these things. That all came in the kit with the paper. And what I think I want to do is add in some blue since there's blue on that paper and see what happens. <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm at right now, guys. Um, is this purple? That looks purple, doesn't it? Do, do, do. do we have a blue? Ugh. Well, we're going to use it. So um, this is Ocean Blue Water Reactive Ink from Crafter's Companion. And I'm just going to bring some in around the edges just to give this a little something. Add that blue in there. It feels very waxy, the paper. Not the paper, but the, the stamping that we did on here. I can feel like it's very reactive. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do there. And since we brought it into there, maybe we'll put it on here. Again, I would not design right onto a card normally. But I don't know why I came with card. Just plain white cards. So I figured you're supposed to mess with it. And I'm not putting too much blue on this because that gold is not even close to being dry yet. So I'm just adding a little hint of color around there. And then this is a strip of paper that's three inches by seven and a half, okay? So what I'm gonna do is make like a little, hopefully, where's my scoring tool? I'm gonna make like a little holder to hold this and we'll see if it works out. <laughs> it may or may not work, I don't know. I just came up with this right now. So at two and a half inches, I'm gonna score here. So again, this is three inches by seven and a half. Two and a half inches, two and a half inches. And what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna fold this over like this, and this one over like this. But I'm gonna cut right there. And I'm just gonna use my scissors, basically eyeballing this from one edge to the other edge. Boop. Okay, you saw I totally eyeballed that. We'll see what happens. And I'm hoping it'll make like a little pocket. Yeah, it should. And I don't know if I want the flowers on the outside, the blue on the inside, or the blue on the outside flowers. We'll see. So like this, and it's gonna hold this. All right. And flowers, let's see what this looks like. I should be making dinner. I have leftovers from yesterday, which I hate giving the kids leftovers sometimes because even my older son's like, the only thing I'll have to look forward to right now is like meals. I'm like, well, that puts a lot of, a lot of, uh, pressure on me, you know, because like they want something different every time. I don't know. I put it that way. I 
or this way. You know, I kind of like this way, which is interesting. Okay. And then when you pull it out, you're going to see a little bit of the flowers in there, but I don't know. I like this way better. So let me distress some of these edges. I'm just going to go around and I'll be right back. Okay. This is not anywhere close to being dry. Um, you know, I'll take some time to try, try and dry it in just a minute. And let me see. We're going to stick this down. I would normally use a wet glue, but I want this to happen kind of fast. I think, where does this cross down here? And you can make this look a little rougher if you want because like it's so nice and pristine compared to the card that's a little bit more rustic, I don't know. And then I'm gonna take this and just use the stamp set hopefully. And the word thank you. And I'll just stamp that kind of crisp. So yeah, if you have other tools, I would definitely use other tools for this because um, the, uh, it started like rolling around here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's kind of eh, um, not the best combination of kind of inexpensive acrylic stamp plus water plus it just started rolling around really easily. All right, we got that. Oh, wow. No, is this wet? No, it's dry. I have some paint um, on a brush over here that was from the other day that I had used um, some kind of like pearlescent plate that came from uh, Crafts Companion. I was like, oh, maybe I should throw some of that on here, but okay, we have enough. <laughs> we have enough on here. And let me take some time to dry this and we'll try to put this together to make some kind of card. Okay, well, it's getting dry. It's not super dry yet, but I do want to add a little more. So I'm going to take some of this washi, I don't know. I might just completely destroy this card. It kind of, it just bothers me. It's so white, 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 white. There's no like pattern paper or something else to kind of break this up. But what I'm going to do is get this one because it's pretty. And it's very thick. I just want to put some like here. I'll cut off the top. If, oh, I made it right to the top almost. And then maybe another little piece. Maybe this one. I know it's totally different, but why not? And I kind of want it to look more torn, so we'll do that. Just something. Just something. I know it's a little bit crooked. Maybe I'll fix that. <laughs> eh, you know what? All right, they're not. And then I'm going to put this here and this tag. I don't know. Kind of breaks up what it's going on in the background. I do like that better. Um, one last thing is I forgot to seal this up, so we do need to put a little bit of glue there. Ah, la, 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 la. Here we go. So I hope you guys are all doing well, staying inside, staying safe. And letting your imagination take you <laughs> wherever you like on stuff like this. I'm like, ah. Uh. I do have a couple of packages coming in from Crafters Companion that are in country now. And then um, some other fun things like that. So I'm just holding this for a little bit just to hold it down to make sure it closes. This is actually almost dry. I did use my heat tool, my heat gun. Um, but the paper's all wonky and that's kind of why I wanted to wait. And I was going to actually just wake up in the morning and do this for you guys because I'm working on this. It's like Friday night for tomorrow. But I thought, ah, maybe I'll just wake up, let it air dry. But I can't sit there and just not finish this. <laughs> if it was just sitting there, it would really kind of get on my nerves. Let me see what's going on here. Let's make that there. So let's just put this here. You know, I have been making like little origami cranes and I'm like, oh, that'd be fun to add something like that, especially with like the Crafters Companion cards where you have like um, a lot of stuff going on. Like if you have those big flowers or your, your foam flowers, I think it'd be kind of fun adding a little tiny crane. They're so cute. And if you guys want to learn how to make it and you like the way I, I give instructions at times with something like that, I will be very clear. <laughs> and other times I'm talking and I'm chatting and no, I would tell you exactly how to do it because it could be confusing. And then, um, you know, try it out. I think it's fun. Let me know. What I would do is make it in a larger scale so you see how to do it easily and then make a tiny one. I think would be cute to kind of tuck in. This is not too bad, guys. At first I was like, I don't really like this project. Um, it's just too much white. Like something else needs to be on here. Maybe I should put some washi on that too or something. I don't know. But since we already put it on the card, I think that's fine. So we have our card base. 
with that really pretty glaze which is gorgeous again didn't take too too long to dry see the background kind of looks like watercolory it's just so messy um to go right onto a card but not too bad and then um i'll just tuck that little tag in there just because i use the tag maybe i'll try to put something on here or maybe something here i have some chipboard pieces in this kit too maybe i'll dig through here and see if there's something cute that i can put out here or something something needs to happen here not sure yet what but you'll see in the pictures if i change it up okay uh, thanks for watching guys bring out your stuff try it out get your hands dirty um it feels good and not too dirty look at that <laughs> so thanks for watching guys be safe be well and i'll see you guys at the next one bye now